And that's why, Noelle, you have to pay attention in class. I'm so happy that's going to be the intro. <laughs> OK, so um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to continue on from yesterday's lesson. <laughs> that's how it's going to be, yeah? All right, so we're going to continue on from yesterday's lesson. And as I said, we, yesterday we were talking about making one worksheet, have a consolidated worksheet that continued information from other worksheets. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to expand that concept a little bit, as George asked yesterday. And we're going to include these things from different files. So we're going to be bringing different files into a worksheet uh, so that we can consolidate information yet again. So we're going to create a separate file from from a worksheet. So we're going to go down to the Durant, or Durat, sorry, I got Kevin Durant on my mind here, Golden State. Yeah, they did, but it was beautiful. All right, we're going to go to Move or Copy. Right mouse click into Move or Copy. And what we want to do is right up here, we can actually move it to a different book. Okay, so we're going to click New Book, which should be on the list if we drop it down. Click New Book, and we want to create a copy, so we're not getting rid of it. Create a copy. It'll take that out. So you're going to right mouse click on the Durant Theater. You're going to go up to Move or Copy. This dialog box will come up. You switch it to a different book. You're going to select New Book, and we're going to create a copy. Then we're going to click the O to the Kaze button. Ta-da. It doesn't drag the theme with it. No, it did not drag the theme with it. Good question. But we can see that it pulled it over. And we now have book one Excel. So we know that we're in a new file up on top. So it says book one Excel, meaning that we're in a different area. Or a different workbook, excuse me. Let's go ahead and save this as Durat Theater Project Expenses, so Control S. I'm going to go to the same place where I keep everything, which is my APP 104 folder. And I'm going to call this, it's asking me to call it Durat Theater, theater Expense, oh, Projected Expenses. Ben says, there we go. Save. Now it's telling us to do the same thing with everything else. So now if I go down here and I don't click, but I just hover my mouse over the uh, Excel button, I can see the two different workbooks that I have open. So these are different workbooks that I have open. I'm going to go back to my original workbook, which is that chapter five exercise file. I'm going to do the same thing with Truman House. Right mouse click. Move or copy, create a new book, and we're going to create a copy there. Click OK. I'm going to do a Control S, put it back where it belongs. And I'm just going to click on that and say Truman House. projected expenses. If I hover over that Excel again, now I've got three files on the bottom. Okay, I'm going to go all the way to the left one. I'm going to do stage Zandu, <clears throat> Zanandu or whatever it is. I'm going to create a copy. I'm going to put it into a new book. Click OK. I'm going to save this one now as stage Zandu. Yes. That's because you're not clicking the create a copy. If you just move it, it will move that worksheet out. Yes. Good, good question, though. Stage Sanandu. Projected expenses. <clears throat> so now I have created four total workbooks. If I s highlight down here, I can see that I've got all four of them still open. Okay, They're available for me to look at. And we're going to be linking data between separate workbooks. So I'm going to be able to change something in stage Zandu, let's just say, and it will appear in my original cons consolidated expense 
workbooks. Okay, um, there's an there's a, um, interesting thing that happens here where what we're going to do is we're going to open up a data file and save it to a new location. So we have this 2018. We want to run uh, Excel if necessary and open the file name 2018. Did we save it 2018? Oh, it's located in the data files. All right, so just give me one second here. All right, so you should have that data file in your week two reading and tools because amazingly I placed it there before class. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in there and download that from Canvas. I'm doing this for YouTube because they don't know I just did it. Okay, and then uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to open a new data file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run Excel. Well, we're in Excel. I'm actually gonna right mouse click. This is my little trick I like to do in order to get those multiple windows up at the bottom. If you right mouse click on Excel and go up to Excel 2016, it will open up a new instance of Excel. Okay. What the? Yeah. I said open. Right mouse click, go to Excel 2016. Then we're going to go down here to open other workbooks. Seeing as you recently downloaded it, you might want to go to your downloads folder. So browse. And I put mine in APP 101, but you probably have a downloads right here. So you don't want us just to open it? You can't open it. Sure, I'm open. I'm, I'm just trying to help you out when you're at home oh. also. So 2018 consolidated expenses. Here it is. Boom. So does yours look like this, Deborah? It did until you deleted it. Then I'm going to enable my editing because I'm going to start editing on here. Now what do we notice outside of my conditional formatting popping up? What do we notice about this? It's set up, but there's nothing in here. We don't know the actual consolidated projected expenses. This could be a rough one. So what we want to do is we want to switch to a different notebook. I'm just trying to make sure here that we have everything. Search for it, open, good. So we want to open up, um, display the tab, great. Oh, down here, we can go to view and we can see, uh, I actually like just coming down here because we can see all of the different notebooks. So we can see that they're all here. We want to see that we have opened, hopefully everybody does, this, one all over here, all the way over here, this uh, consolidated. Notice we have this 2018 information right here. I'm, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure we're going to go grab all that information and import it into the 2018 consolidated expense sheet. <clears throat> but what we can also do is we can arrange multiple windows. So I can come up here to view and I can arrange all and I want to make them Horizontal. Oh, I did that the wrong way. Way wrong answer, AJ. No, Control Z won't fix what I just did. But making the window bigger will. I'm going to arrange all, and I want them to be vertical. And now it'll put them next to each other, all the way across. So I'm looking at all my different Excel sh spreadsheets open. Now, are we going to do this normally? No. But if you're like me and you work with two or three monitors, this is awesome when you can put a different spreadsheet on each monitor or two spreadsheets on each monitor. Works pretty well. I usually just drag them. I don't use that um, you know, alignment all right there. Well, you only have two of them open then. No, it pretty much does what you tell it to, George. I don't know if you want to keep arguing me on that, but I think I've been proven right up to this point. It is at the end of week two, but I promise by the end of week four, you'll realize that we are the problem, not the machine. Okay. Now, we can hide all the open workbooks except for one. And hiding is just a way to get rid of all those different things that we we're doing. So I'm looking for my consolidated workbook, which is this one, my second one. I'm just going to go ahead and just make that one big again. I just used the maximize window button, which is the square up on top. And I maximized it because I'm just looking this. I'm just trying to show you features right now so you can tile these things. 
Did it work? Amy closed everything. That's all right. Just maximize the 2018 so we're looking at this one again. Now we're going to get uh, we're going to get into linking these things. We're going to consolidate data by linking workbooks. So what we want to do is we want to go to this payroll button and we want to we can go in and click the home and the sum button. So we could go into auto sum right here. Okay, so I'm going to do a sum. And it brings it up and it says, well, I don't know what to auto sum right now because there's nothing around here to sum, right? Things that make you go, hmm, not sum. So what we want to do is we actually, while this is highlighted, we want to switch windows. So we want to go up here to view and we want to switch windows right here. This little button. So we can drop this down. It says, which window would you like to go to, Kimosabi? And I'm going to tell it that what I want to do is I want to go to uh, Durat Theater. Why not? All right, you know what? I'm just going to pick the yeah first one here, or the fourth one, Durat. Now, Durat's right here. I'm going to open up big. And I want to get payroll. So notice that up in the formula bar up here, this kind of tells us what Excel is doing right now. We still have our sum function happening, and it's waiting for us to put something in it. So the first thing I'm going to click is payroll 2018 right here. I'm going to go ahead and click this. Now it gave me a pretty big, not just like a D5 cell in there. It said, I want you to go to Durat Theater Projected Expenses XLS. That's the file. Durat Theater, which is the sheet that it is absolute D5. So it's going to add that one. I, I bet if we were to guess, the next thing that we would do is now we're going to go to view, switch books, and go to Truman House now. I'm going to go ahead and make that one bigger. And I'm going to click on, let me just make sure I don't have to hit control. Um, expanded formula, great, great, great. Click switch windows, D5. And I'm like, oh, it's telling us that we wanted to make sure that we don't have the absolute in this. So I'm going to go up here, delete the absolute. So it just should be D5. Uh, I'm going to put comma, and yeah, then I'm going to click payroll. I'm going to take the absolute out of that. What's the difference between a comma and a plus? Well, we're using a sum function. Everything in the function is going to be added, so we don't need a plus in there. The comma is in a function oh. saying next thing, next thing, next okay. thing. So we could use a colon, but that would mean everything in that range. We don't necessarily have to do that. So I'm going to do comma one more time here. And then I'm going to go grab, what do we do? Truman House, Durat, and Stage Zandu, Zanandu. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. This is way out here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete my absolute. So this is a pretty long function, <laughs> just because of where everything's located. And then I'm going to hit enter. Wow. Now, why do we take the absolutes out? Anybody got a guess? Because we're going to drag down. Yes! I love George and his thinking process. Because if we left the absolutes in, we couldn't drag it. We'd have to go do this for each and every one. And we could do that if that was what we wanted to do. But we're thinking quick. So now what we can do is we can grab this and just drag down. Ta-da, we filled in all the expenses. It's pretty awesome. From all the different worksheets, from all the different workbooks. <laughs> so we've now linked some data in files. Wait, what? You didn't get the same number? 
That means you've messed up somewhere. But we'll go find that out in a minute, okay? Let's just stick with the program so we don't get too far behind. Um, It would have been the same number all the way down because it would have it would have been a, a absolute reference instead of a reference or a, um, now right here we want to make sure that we don't leave the dollar signs in here remember that looks a little tacky so we're going to do comma style wah exactly And then what we want to do is we want to just make sure that this looks right. So we're going to drag these things out. Um, here we go. Where? I'm going to click on here and drag these each out so we're not all consolidated into one spot where we can't read it. How did you get that pie chart? It should be automatically in there. Uh, well, we're pulling in the payroll expense into each one. It should automatically create the chart for you. So right here, you're going to click right here. You're going to say the sum. And then you're going to go into your view and you're going to switch windows. So do you have, did you make your other books? Let's see if this is one of them. You know what? You're, you're missing your other workbooks. So one second, let me finish off what we're doing, and then I can help you out with that, because you need the other workbooks. And I didn't make this perfect or anything, but do we understand the concept of what we're doing right here? So we've just now pulled in data from all the different uh, workbooks. It's putting itself together. I think it actually works out pretty good. So we're going to go into Control S to save it. And then what we can do is we can actually go down to the bottom if we wanted to finish this off and say close all windows and it automatically closes. Oh, it's going to want me to save something. I can tell. It's blinking saying, do you want to save this? And I will say, sure, save, 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 and save. And it closes out. Which one did I go to for what? Yeah, just right mouse click and then close all windows. And it closes everything out for you. And that is the end of chapter five.